Art teachers of Reddit, what's you draw anything you want story? Not my story, but seems to fit here. When I was in school to certify to become a teacher, we had a former principal as a professor for one of our courses who was trying to illustrate how difficult it can be to manage parent complaints and how to approach those situations with administration. His example was how he had been called into a conference once with an angry mom and the elementary school art teacher. The mom was furious because the teacher had asked the children to close their eyes and draw whatever came into their imagination. His assumption was that a student had drawn something inappropriate. Nope, the mom was mad because summoning an image in one's mind was witchcraft. I've had some really funny ones but this one is not and reminds me whenever I think of it to consider kids' circumstances. I worked in a low-income high immigrant population school. This girl was amazing outspoken, kind, great grasp of English. She drew a picture of her brother and her. I asked her who else was in the picture since there appeared to be part of a third person. She calmly replied that's my brother's head he was killed in our village right before we went to the refugee camp. I look her up and down and say something sympathetic masking my horror. Yeah they came into my village grabbed all the boys and were going to take them away. My brother and his friend tried to run so they cut off his head. I was standing right there. Would you like me to draw you a picture? I said no thank you. I asked where her little brother, also in art class was. When this happened, oh we dressed him up like a girl. He makes a cute girl. I should mention before the above exchange we were talking about One Direction or something totally banal. It's not drawing but I gave my high school kids a poetry assignment. They could write about anything that was school appropriate and have one curse word that wasn't a slur or the f-bomb. It had to include so much figurative language. Act. Girl turns in is. My name is a bitch. A poem about how she's tired of writing poems and that she's annoyed with me for assigning so many. Includes all requirements. I have her a 96 a few errors and the next poem she writes is Ms. My name is a cool bitch about how she was sorry she was mean. I just remembered a poor little guy who drew a self-portrait. He drew with a meticulous detail and when it came down to drawing his pants he drew the zipper so carefully but it looked like a penis. I was flummoxed about how to tell him that people might see something there that he didn't intend. My brother was told to draw an animal from any angle he wanted so he drew a dot and said it was a very far away lion. I was substitute teaching an art class and 8th grader drew a picture of an adult woman molesting a child. I pulled the student aside after class and found out her aunt had been molesting her for years when she was babysat or came to visit. I reported it and her aunt ended up going to prison. Kids will sometimes draw things they wouldn't normally say out loud. In early middle school, we did a project where we used cardboard draped in colorful paper match to make a sound word like wham or crinkle. I was really into knights at the time. So I made the word that was the sound of someone unsheathing a sword. That word was schlong. I got in trouble once for drawing a pooping butt. Little did my teacher know, but the drawing was actually a poorly drawn butterfly that ended up looking like a hairy pooping butt. And when asked why I put the details I did like the legs and antenna and pro boss idea coming off the segmented body. I said I dunno, don't they all look like that? I saw one a recess and thought it was pretty and wanted to draw it, thinking of the butterfly of course. Nope, I ended up having to see the school counselor. High school 1977, not a teacher. While everyone else was drawing Pink Floyd rainbows and peace signs all over everything the biggest burnout in the class made a white metal bracelet with intricate triangular designs cut out of it. He turned it in and got a great grade for the first project he ever bothered finishing and some well-deserved praise for his effort. Teacher handed our work back and first thing he did was grab a pair of pliers and bent all the triangles outward making it a thick metal spiked bracelet. I found that devilishly, disturbingly clever. As a kid was told to do a drawing that was gonna be put on a plate, drew my cat doing a poo. I was asked multiple times if I wanted to redo it. I declined the offer, so most of my life I ate off a plate with my cat on it doing a poo as it was my plate, and still do. My siblings had similar plate with a car and a rocket ship, 
mine is clearly much better, was around 5 or 6 at the time and totally worth it, still have the plate. I have a design your own monster Halloween lesson, most kids draw cute ghosts or cool vampires. One seventh grader drew a sad clown hanging by a belt from a ceiling fan, he had issues. Student here, my art teacher was somewhat crazy, she let us draw anything we want and to get 100% all you had to do was tell her it had a deep connection to the earth or some other nonsense. I drew a jellyfish and told her it represented wisdom because it was immortal. One kid had to have a meeting with the principal her parents and the art teacher because the art teacher decided that because this second grade girl only drew people without hands, the little girl felt powerless. All these adults questioned this child about the meaning of her drawings, she tells them, hands are too hard to draw. Parent here, not an art teacher, in kindergarten, my son came home with a packet of finished assignments he got back from the teacher. One was a paper having them draw a body part with the prompt here are my, example given was feet, what did my kid draw, butt cheeks, drawing of the back of a person with two giant well drawn, I might add cheeks, my husband and I laughed our own butt cheeks off when we saw it, we kept the paper, for posteriority. When I was in second grade our teacher told us to doodle on the back of a quiz if we finished early. I decided to draw a house high in the sky with a long staircase leading to it. To emphasize its height I drew clouds but it needed more. I decided to add in an airplane. Later my teacher called me to her desk and I got in trouble because the plane looked like it was heading towards the house and this was right after 9-11 happened. Still have no idea what I was thinking. I ran arts and craft classes at a youth group for disadvantaged kids, decided one day to give them total freedom, I just put out all the supplies we had and let them go crazy, kids made some really cool works of art all very colorful and creative. I was talking to one kid when another asked me to help him spell things for his artwork, I go over to his table with him and he's been making a card for a boy in his class at school. He tells me his friend's mum had just died from cancer and he wanted to make a card for him to cheer him up but he couldn't spell anything he wanted to write. He was 13 years old and I had to help him spell out something like dear. I am so sorry about your mum but I will always be your friend and here for you, love. I had to help him spell his own name. He made the card totally unprompted. I feel for the guy. He was totally sweet and caring for his friend and really smart. He just not got the help he needed, went home after and had a little sob. I am a teacher but I don't teach art. I was teaching a class of 7 year olds who are usually a blessing, but there's just one kid who has some real problems. He can't speak English at all, even after me spending a year trying to teach him and all his classmates progressing well. He just refuses to engage with any teacher and is extremely disruptive, often crying and screaming. I think he has special needs, but that's not handled well in China. Anyway, after battling and battling with him to no avail, assigning him class police roles, everything I just gave up this one day and gave him some paper to draw on whilst the rest of the kids learn without him distracting them. He drew a picture of me with a large pee, pee and lots of knives and me with blood and wrote my name in perfect English. It was eerie but I just felt sad and concerned what had happened to this boy. The school gave him no support and I only saw him for about an hour a week. I left the school shortly after unrelated and wonder how he is now. When I was in the first grade they had everyone in every grade draw something, it could be anything. I drew an evil snail that had gotten snatched up by a bird, and I had a voice bubble that said I will be back or something like that. Coming from this evil snail, in the foreground I drew my family, that was it, that was the whole picture. Flash forward to like 6 months and my really bad drawing was chosen as one in the first grade. Then the school had an assembly where they showed the top drawings from each grade. So I go up to the front with the other winners and the principal goes through each one and says a little something about it. Eventually they get to my drawing and I quickly realized why I was chosen. They thought the bird was a plane and the evil snail was my dad leaving to deploy. Important note is that this school was on a military base. My dad had never been deployed and was in fact depicted on the ground with the rest of my family. 
But I just stood there and accepted the award, and I never told another living soul because I was so embarrassed guilty. Former student here, we were supposed to do a bit of abstract artwork for a course assignment. My work was a framed square cutout from an old shirt I had previously used to help our stain an old table. Not only did I get an A on the assignment, but I entered it into a silent auction later that semester and someone bought it. When I was in high school, part of the final exam's assessments in art class involved picking an object of your choice, based on a written passage, and painting it as best you can. My art teacher told us about one kid who chose a book as his object. He turned up with an art book with a professional still life painting on the cover and proceeded to recreate the painting stroke by stroke. There were phone calls made to his parents and to the board of education over it but the kid got away with it in the end. I assume there were some changes to the rules after that. Edit since this is now my top comment. Here's a bonus story about the same assessment. When the time for my own assessment came around. The object I chose paint from the written passage was a skull. The next day, the teacher made his way around the class, asking students individually about their chosen objects. The art teacher was quite elderly and he was quite a reserved and somewhat mysterious fellow. He had also taken a shine to me as I was pretty good at art and more enthusiastic than the others. He makes his way around to me and I tell him I want to paint a skull. And where do you plan on finding one? He asks. I told him I had seen one of those plastic replica skeletons in the biology lab and I was going to ask about borrowing the skull. He blew off that idea as if it were complete nonsense. He paused for a moment and then said a little more quietly, I can get you a skull. Um okay I replied, not knowing what he was getting at really. The guy goes off into his little storeroom, rummages for a couple minutes and comes back with a real human skull in his hand. I politely asked him how he came by a real human skull. He turned his gaze away pensively and said an old friend gave it to me, and left it at that. When I was around 8 or 9, I got into drawing cars, and simultaneously into drawing tribal decorations probably not PC, but you know, the type a lot of people get as a tattoo. So I drew a car with tribal decal and because of the hook-like shapes in the tribal decal, I inappropriately named the car the hooker. When she was done laughing, my mom took the time to explain the world's oldest profession. Not a teacher but in middle school we got an assignment in art class to draw a still life of fruit. I thought the idea was totally boring and decided to put a creative spin on it. I drew a bunch of different fruits all sitting in the seats of a coliseum watching an apple kill an orange in the center ring. I failed the assignment, and my teacher even pulled me out into the hallway to tell me directly that she didn't like me or the work that I produced. Didn't let that crush my dream though and I kept making my assignments weirder and weirder to piss her off. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.